It's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm and I grow flowers in upstate New York, zone 4B. And today I am going on a field trip. I have a bunch of errands to run, um, but the first, I have like four stops, but. So I am going to buy the supplies for my shelving unit. My, my whole like grow light system that I have set up in the basement, I have a couple of them. I want a couple more. So I, my chickens heard me <laughs> and they're running over. Get, get, get. You cannot come up the stairs. No, you may not. No, no, no. Bunny, get down. Bunny is always coming up the stairs. Anyway, Bunny thinks she just runs the place. So let me flip it around so I'm not backlit. <sighs> okay, so I have to go, what the? Tripod troubles. I have to go to my father's house to bring back the appliance cart that I borrowed from him. I have to go to Lowe's to get all of my supplies for the light system. And then I have to go to my grandmother's to dig up her dahlias. She only has like three tubers. And then I have to go to my mom's because I'm going to transplant some of her sedum to my house. So I'm gonna take you guys with me and then we're gonna come back here to Flower Hill Farm and we're gonna to put together the whole shelving and lighting system. But first I have to load my car with my dad's appliance cart. So the reason I borrowed his appliance cart is because in my basement where I wanna put the shelving units, my washer and dryer were there. So we moved the washer and dryer upstairs to my second floor and then we borrowed the appliance cart to do that, obviously, because they're heavy. So Brad Pitt and I did that last weekend and now Today, we're gonna to build a shelving unit. This thing is heavy. Okay, and now I just have to go grab my, my new manure fork to dig the dahlias at my grandma's. So I also have to drop off a flash drive to my father. Um, he doesn't have a, a micro SD card reader and I download up some stuff for him from his drone because he has it. Who's, who, who? Why am I beeping? Are there chickens? My sensors are going off that something is behind me and there's nothing behind me. Look at my camera's all crooked. There are no chickens there. Okay. Anyway, he doesn't have an SD card reader. Christmas gift. So I am going to be bringing that him. I don't even know if he's there, but if he's not, I'll just leave it at his up. I just stopped by one of the little Amish stands that is on my way to my grandparents' house and I want to check out the pumpkins. Oh, it's bright out here. Oh, wow. Oh, this is adorable. What is that? Ornamental pepper. Hmm. They have yellow pumpkins and white pumpkins and big pumpkins. Oh my gosh. They're only $5, guys. Oh my God. I've got to get that. I don't think I can, like, this is my foot. <laughs> what? Okay. All right. I'm going to grab some of these. Oh, check out these cool ones. I want to grow some of these next year, guys. Check them out. Look at this one. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think I could like write our name on that one. I decided I have to come back for pumpkins because I'm gonna be filling my car with lights and shelving units and I need all the space that I can get. And this is only like 10 minutes from my house. So I'll have to come back for pumpkins. But could you believe that? The size of those pumpkins? For <gasps> Ornamental kale. They're gorgeous. I'm at Grandma Grandpa's house. Let's go in. Grandma's sweeping the porch. I'm going to startle her. I know it. <laughs> Lula, Lula, Lula. Hi, baby girl. Hi. Apparently nobody hits them or something. Oh, okay. Hello to you too. Hello. <laughs> uh, are these the wildflowers I heard so much about from Gabe's Wild Flower Hill Farm? Yeah. <laughs> they're weeds. <laughs> I, I, they're all over my flower garden. And uh, I thought they only last maybe two or three days where they're 
pretty. You yeah. know, the, 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 he picked these what? When they go there, that was like Tuesday. Five, six, uh, was it just a few days ago? Tuesday or Wednesday? Tuesday or Wednesday, he come home with them, and they're, they're dead already. Mm -hmm. So now, I got dead weeds in a vase. A dragonfly friend just landed. I see you too. I know I told you guys about this, but dragonflies are sort of important in our family. When I turned the camera on and I was looking at the dahlias, a dragonfly went right in front of me and landed right on the hydrangea. I got a video of it. Oh, how nice. I know. <laughs> I don't know if my thoughts command it to come because that's all I've been thinking of lately is Andre. <laughs> They're beautiful. <sighs> I love them. Did you send away for those or did you I, buy They were 10 some? bucks on Amazon. They're fantastic. They have different colors. I gotta get different ones. Oh, yes. Put them on, Graham. They're oh dirty. Oh, my God. Put them on. Are they heavy? No, they're super light. They're super dirty. You can put them right yeah, over your glasses. Mine are dirty, too. Mine are all fingerprints and stuff, too. Oh, my God. How about this? Oh, my God. So, this entire time that I've been at my grandmother's, it got like 20 degrees warmer. I'm dying. Um, just hysterically right now, my grandmother goes, because I told her, all right, I'm gonna take the tubers home, I'm gonna wash them up and probably wrap them in some, some saran wrap or something or whatever. And she goes, you better not be feeling up my tubers. <laughs> I died. So why isn't my camera on for this? Okay, so now I'm going ahead to Lowe's to get my parts for the shelves. It's October. What are your thoughts? Too early? This is the shelf. And I picked up two of them. seriously exhausted from putting that in the car. Those shelves are super heavy. So I still have room in my car, so I'm gonna go check, see if there's any plants on clearance. <laughs> Lowe's had garbage. I mean, they had some stuff left, don't get me wrong, but nothing was marked down. I don't play like that. So I just called my mom and told her I was parched because I have been in the car for three hours and I have not eaten or drank anything. I forgot to bring my water. <laughs> My mom's making me lunch and she's making me, getting me something to drink. I'll be at her house in five minutes. Such a relief. Go in. Hey, hey. Hello. Hello. Oh my gosh, I got my keys to the shed ready with all the tools necessary. Okay. It's a hobbit gate. Do you see it? Um, oh my gosh. It's adorable. Isn't that nice? Oh my gosh, I love it. <gasps> and then he had this, this is from an old round window thing and we put that on there to make it round. Okay, okay take me to the shed. Court did it. Okay, let's go. We gotta go unlock it. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, you guys closed your pool already? It's down, thank God. Mess okay, with. here's the massive sedum that I'm not allowed to touch. I think it's an Autumn Joy. Um, and then there's another one way over, whoop, over there on the corner, and that's the one that I'm gonna be splitting up. It's bigger than I thought it was gonna be. What, the sedum? No, the shed. Oh yeah, it is pretty big. Is there electricity out here? No. Okay, uh, so what are we looking for? There's my dirt. Oh, you okay, want me to get your dirt? I gotta get that, I gotta get. Jump a Jehoosaphat. No, I You need a ladder. I know, I'll go get the ladder. This is uh, whatever shovels you need, they're all over. I don't oh, know nice what shirt. you need. Isn't this a nice shirt? That's a nice shirt. <laughs> uh, okay. I need that bit. I think, I'm gonna go ahead I and think get maybe that that looks like a sedum death tool in the middle. This? In the middle. This? Let's chop it up. Okay. No, we. <laughs> and this? 
This is an edger for doing the edges. I know. I'm, j I'm joking. We'll use a knife. I don't need anything but Do a you regular. Want this? Nope. I just need a regular shovel, just like that. Ma, this is all rock. I know. So this is my mom's sedum in this back corner. I don't even know how it was growing. This is, well, I mean, sedum doesn't really need a rich environment to grow. It will grow in a hot, dry environment, but this was so rocky, I'm surprised. So sedum uh, does not mind being divided and you can cut, you could just pull it all up like this and then literally just cut it in four to six inch sections. I might need a bigger knife, my God. And, uh, Oh my God, I need a bigger knife. <laughs> and then move it around where you need it to, to go. So I'm gonna take some of this home and I'm also gonna be, let me see, here's a nice section. So I'm gonna take, I think, probably this one home and split it in half. Do that right now, I can probably do this. Okay, so here's two nice pieces. Also, another um, tip for if you're doing this with sedum, when you go to transplant it, cut it to about, uh, I don't know, half of its height so it doesn't have to drink as much water after being transplanted. Okay, so we took the big clump, we separated it into five clumps, I gave you back three, and now I'm gonna take two home. How do you feel about that? Fabulous. <laughs> Fabulous. So we did end up um, separating that big one, and uh, we moved it into the three corners up front, and then there was also a big enough chunk left over from this one for me to take a big clump home. Look at all I got. I know. How much do you think you could get out of there? I would five say five or six. Or six. Yeah. yeah. Thank well, you. Yeah. Oh, All right, lock up. Love you. Hey guys, so it's a couple days later and I am in the basement where our former washer and dryer used to reside right here and this is where it was when I was a kid. Um, we moved it upstairs last weekend and now I my grow space actually, see that? That's my shelf that I have. I, this shelving unit over here, back here, also have that. I don't have the lights set up there right now because I borrowed them from my dad because he's an electrician and he has lights all the time. So that is set up, but no lights right now. So what I'm gonna do is instead of having them up against the wall like the one in the back is, I'm gonna have them coming out like aisles so that I can fit one, two, three, four shelving units right here. I'll probably just stick with three for a little bit, but the plan is to have four here and I can fit thousands of seedlings on each shelf. I mean thousands. It's kind of incredible the amount that you can fit on these shelving units. So you saw me go shopping. So what I got was, it's called a Premier Shelf. I like to get the heavy duty ones because I know you can get the cheaper ones for 50, 60, 70 bucks at Walmart. I've had those before and the plastic that holds the shelving units up, like each shelf, I've had those plastic pieces give out on me and the shelves just collapse. So I wanted something that had metal structure with no plastic parts, which is why I went for a little bit more expensive shelving unit that has a 5,000 pound max. Do you think I'm gonna grow 5,000 pound seedlings? No, but I can trust that this shelving unit doesn't have any plastic pieces that are gonna collapse on me. It's also very heavy. <laughs> Each box, it doesn't sound heavy, it doesn't. I can bench press and all that stuff, I did CrossFit, I could do much more than that, but for some reason, the awkward shape, it's 73 pounds and it feels like a, a, a large adult I'm trying to carry, you should see me trying to carry it around, get it in the house all by myself. So. My dog is down here too, so if you hear tapped, come on. She's my boxer. Oh, honey, you're in the dark. You're in the dark. Anyway, so if you hear tap dancing, she's on the floor tap dancing. It's really dark down here too, so I have my artificial light down here set up, so. All right, so let's open the box because I'm jibber jabbering and I don't need to, so let's do it. What do we got here? Okay, so you can see I've got all of the parts out of the box. Those are my eight lights that I'm using on the back. I have the instructions for building the shelf right here. 
The only tool that it requires is a rubber mallet or a rubber hammer. So the 24 is here, 48 is here, and then there's another 48 and another 24, and the shelf sits right on top of that, and it all um, gets fastened right to the corners, which are nice, metal, and secure. I'm just kidding. Oh my god, this was frustrating. Because the rivets kept falling out, but I got it now. I got it, I got it, I understand. Now the rivets are down, we're all set. Like I could pick this up and move it if I wanted to, which I do want to. First, I'm going to set a different shelf in place. The placement of this next post is extremely important because it has to be um, where the shelving unit has those two little notches, the rivets. One has to go on the last post here and one has to go on the first post here. Okay, so it's a little trickier than the first two shelves, which I didn't even put the shelf in. Let me do that. It's like the easiest part of this whole thing is just pull out with the shelves and where you put them. The reason that I went with a shelving unit with not a solid bottom is because my lights. Now my lights hang on a chain and because I have this wire-ish shelving unit, I don't have to worry about where I can place them. I can move my lights, I can raise them, I can lower them and there's no like floor to the shelf that I have to worry about or install or hang from. It's quite simple. The chain just goes up and over the wire, no problem. Okay, let's do this. A little trickier on this part. Hi, Brad Pat. Hi. <laughs> Hi, I'm at the tricky part. Yeah, the part sucks. It's okay, it's okay, got it. I'm good. This part was done until you came down here. Okay, so Brad Pitt came home in the middle of me making the shelves and he helped me put the last two um, shelves up you guys saw him. And I said, Brad, your butt's blocking my camera. And he's like, ooh. <laughs> so he didn't care. So I took the liberty of installing the first two lights so I can talk to them, talk about them to you guys. So these are a little bit different than my lights on my original shelves, but same idea. These are 40 watt, 120 volt bulbs. They are diamond plated though since they were all out of just like the plain white ones and lucky for me these diamond plated look people are gonna be blinded by these ah! it's like you should see the the reflections going off my basement right now because we have white walls all over my basement so they are the diamond plate shop lights from Lowe's they're the Lithonia brand and these were $44 marked down to $29 each. So I got them for $29 each. They have 4,000 lumens, which is what you need to be concerned about when it when you're like growing lights or growing plants in your basement. Okay, so I'm linking a video below. It's the Rusted Garden. He has a very detailed uh, video about why you just need shop lights and you don't have to worry about those super expensive lights that you see on Amazon and stuff like that with the different colors and all that. I actually had a friend this week text me a picture of something on Amazon saying, is this okay to grow like lights in my basement, the seedlings? And I was like, well, it's probably like twice, three, four times the number of dollars you need to spend. All you need is a shop light. <laughs> so. I actually sent her Gary um, Gary's video from the Rusted Garden and showed her why. You only need these. So what is great about these ones is that they plug into each other with a max of 10. I have room for 10 lights on these shelves. I'm only getting use eight. I don't, I didn't hang from the ceiling because there are five shelves, but I didn't, in order for me to have 10 lights, I'd need to hang from the ceiling, which I might do. I just don't need to right now, so put these two on. So when your lights open the box, 
and it's like super, super, super simple. <clears throat> Open the box. That's the hardest part. <laughs> and then there's this piece of styrofoam here and you toss that to the side and your light is in one piece. There's nothing else in here. You bring it over here. Take it out of the plastic. Now, because I am using the method of plugging into each other, I have to alternate the end of the light to make sure that where you plug in is where it should be. Okay, I need my plug to be over here, so I have to put it right there. Okay, and the only other thing that comes in this package is this. Can you see that there in the bottom? Okay, so right here in the red bag, which usually comes in a little red bag on the side, is the chain and then S hooks. Some come with four, this one came with two. I'm probably going to buy two more and I'll explain to you why in just a moment. So for this, you take the S hook, you put it on top, on top of the light, just slips right in through the hole. And then you take the chain, slip it on the other end, Normally, you would have another S hook so you can adjust your chain, but this is not coming with another one, so you have to, and then, see if I had another S hook, I can hang it there, hang it there, which I will get another one. <laughs> so I'm doing it right there, because that's, right now, that's the shortest I can get it. Well, it's not true, because you can wrap it around the top shelf twice. So if you needed to get it really tall, which you might, you can keep wrapping or wrap over two or three of these. Okay, and then the other end. Bada bing, bada boom. Try not, don't lose it in the light. Make sure you're ready for it. about an hour I fast forwarded things for you guys but um yeah not bad not bad at all and okay let's talk about cost so like I said it was $29 per bulb on sale they were usually $44 but I got them for $29 at Lowe's they're all marked down I think they're getting a new stock in or whatever so I ended up paying plus it was I bought two shelves so I don't they've been missing and out of stock so I bought two because I do want to have another shot shot another shot of shelves so for two shelving units and eight bulbs it was four hundred and ninety five dollars so let's subtract hundred and ten dollars from that so for three hundred and eighty five dollars ish that is my grow station so here's my cafeteria tray and I can fit four of these on each shelf so there's like 200 and I think 240 I can fit soil blocks and then uh, plug trays, you can fit four plug trays and things that don't need light, like I put bupleurum and stuff on top. Um, and I also start all my vegetables on these things. So this is not just for flowers, this is for vegetables and you could start literally thousands of seedlings on this baby. So anyway, 
I'm gonna go make some coffee and I've got beef stew in the crock pot. So I'm definitely gonna go relax with some coffee and dinner with the fam. So I'll see you guys.